Assalamu alaikum students students in this video I am going to highlight the blood supply of the spinal cord after covering up the basic gross features of the spinal cord in the previous videos you can see uh, I have put uh, the links of the uh, gross features of the spinal cord in the description of this video so the today topic is the blood supply of the spinal cord and other grass feature of the spinal cord. The blood supply of the spinal cord includes both the arterial supply and the venous drainage of the spinal cord. The spinal cord receives blood supply from an anterior spinal artery and the two posterior spinal arteries. Anterior spinal artery is one in number and the posterior spinal arteries are two in number. Posterior spinal arteries which are two in numbers on either side of the spinal cord while the anterior spinal artery is present on the anterior side of the spinal cord supplying the anterior of the spinal cord. You can see in the diagram this is the anterior spinal artery and this uh, the posterior spinal arteries these are two in number they are present on the posterior side and the anterior spinal artery lies on the anterior side of the spinal cord. The posterior spinal arteries run over the spinal cord surface close to the roots of the spinal nerves while the anterior spinal artery run in the anterior median fissure you can see in this diagram. The anterior spinal artery run in the anterior median fissure while the posterior spinal arteries uh, run over the spinal cord surface close to the roots of the spinal nerves. The posterior spinal arteries are given up are given off directly from the vertebral artery are indirectly by the posterior inferior cerebellar artery posterior spinal arteries give their branches close to the roots uh, dorsal roots of the spinal nerve these arteries give their branches posterior spinal arteries supplies most almost posterior one third of the spinal cord then the anterior spinal artery as it runs in the anterior median fissure it is formed by the union of two small arteries arising from the vertebral artery you can see in this diagram the anterior spinal artery is formed by the union of two small arteries of the vertebral which are the branches of the vertebral artery the anterior spinal arteries supply at least two thirds of the spinal cord and on the anterior side in addition to these spinal arteries there are an additional spinal artery called the segmental spinal artery these spinal arteries provide the reinforcement to the anterior and posterior spinal artery the origin of the segmental spinal artery is from the outside of the vertebral column which may be the lumbar artery intercostal artery they give their anterior and posterior radicular arteries the anterior radicular artery to the anterior side of the spinal cord and the posterior radicular artery to the opposite side of the respective spinal artery then there is an other important artery of the spinal cord is the artery of adam quays it is nutritional artery it is the feeder artery of the spinal cord it is usually present in the lower thoracic and the upper lumbar parts of the spinal cord mostly it is unilateral you can see in the diagram this one is the this one is the artery of adam quiz it is unilateral it is most important because it may become one of the major source of blood to the lower parts of the spinal cord so the artery of the adam case you can see on your screen 
this is the artery of adem crease present in the lower thoracic and upper lumbar parts of the spinal cord then we have the venous drainage of the spinal cord in the venous drainage of the spinal cord the venous drainage of the spinal cord is carried out by at least six tortuous longitudinal venous channels surrounding the spinal cord from them three are located anterior of the spinal cord while three are located on the posterior of the spinal cord the on the anteriorly the anterior external venous plexus anterior median spinal vein and the anterior internal venous plexus these three channels are present on the anterior side of the spinal cord to drain the venous blood and three other channels are located on the posterior side of the spinal cord these are posterior external external venous plexus posterior internal venous plexus and the posterior intermediate spinal vein these three channels drain this venous blood from the posterior side of the spinal cord besides of these six tortuous longitudinal venous channels there are other small venous uh vessels that drain the venous blood from the spinal cord so this is all about the blood supply of the spinal cord thank you very much